as code always had a hidden meaning behind its illustrations or scenes. This time, the ending theme of season 2 has its own interesting theory and details. I think I figured it out. I am not sure about it. But, just let us discuss about it. Stairs represent how much power and hierarchy a character has. Ryuwen is nearing the end, proving he is one of the school's most relevant entities, trying to reach the top without looking back. Kushida, on the contrary, is nearing the end thanks to her childish behavior towards everyone, while remaining cautious not to show who she really is. Sakayanagi is on top, but she's not standing, either because she can't go beyond what she is capable of or simply because she feels comfortable where she is now, watching everyone from above as she rests. Hichinus is in the middle, her great influence in school allows her to be there, and at the same time encourage others to follow her as she watches and waits for them, regardless of them coming to first. Harakita is near Ryuuen, showing her great potential while still to get there, supporting her hand against the wall, as if it represents her need to rely on someone stronger to show her the way up, while also looking back and looking for the ones who are in the background. Hiyori is a bit strange here, although she is a mastermind of her own. I really don't know why she is in that place. I am a little bit confused about her position. Can someone explain her position to me? Ibuki is one step away from the bottom of the stairs, her great physical power allows her to be there, but she can't go any further, she doesn't have the ability to do so. Her personality could have been somewhat better. Chabashira and Hishinomiya sensei are in the middle because they're former students, and also because they're teachers. And finally, Keikaru Izawa, the only one at the bottom I think is mainly due to her importance in the eyes of everyone, everyone considers her simply as the selfish and provocative girl. All of them except one. Kiyotaka is the only person at the top of the stairs while also standing, not looking back as if he's showing us he doesn't care about anyone. But only when Kei is present, that's when he finally decides to look back, showing the connection they both will have. As for the butterfly, it may be implying the free will that everyone has, approaching but also moving away, only Kei is the one who catches it, but lets it go because she is still afraid, when the butterfly climbs to Kiyotaka, it showed that if you want freedom, you must work for it, and it must be with you.